and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, with the City of Hampton's Communications and Marketing Department. And today I have a really exciting surprise. We have one of Hampton's most famous citizens right now, Francina McCrory. She's back from the World Competition in Russia, and she's back in Hampton, so welcome. Hello. Thank you so much for coming by. It's a treat to meet you. No problem. So tell us, you just got back from Russia. Tell us about the World Competition. The World Championships was great. It was very exciting. I love to put on the USA uniform and compete for the USA. Um, it's like Superman, kind of, sort of. So um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I ran the Open 400 meters, and we, I competed in the 4 by 400 meter relay. And we got a silver medal, um, and it was just great. You know, the group of girls that I got the privilege to run with was great. So we had a lot of fun. Congratulations, that's exciting. Thank now, you. Now, does the silver medal feel still really cool, or is it like, oh, I had the gold in the Olympics? <laughs> well, of course, we always want to get a gold medal, but any medal we bring home for the USA is exciting, so yeah. I was still happy. <laughs> Good, and it is exciting. And, um, you know, I saw your gold when you were at City Council before. I mean, is it still just like, it's so cool to go out there and you're representing Hampton, you're yes. representing the USA. I mean, you're a world traveler now. What is that like? Um, it's exciting. It gets busy at times, but um, it's my lifestyle now. I've been running professional track for three years. Well, this is the third year, so it's exciting. Like you say, I live in Hampton parts of the year because I'm always gone, but I love it. And you grew up in Hampton. Yes, ma'am. Went to Bethel. Yes, Yay. of course. I know, and that's why you know some of the TV crew. They've all met you before. They filmed you when you were in high school. They yes. know you. Um, how did you, growing up and, and going to Bethel, did you know that you could do this? Did you know that you could be you know, one of the top one or two in the world in your, um, in your distance? Or was it just, you know, oh, I'm going to try this and see what happens? And that's exactly how it was um, when I first started out in ninth grade. It was kind of like I was going to try it out to see what happens because it really kept me out of trouble, so that was a good thing. So, And um, the more and more I started running, the more and more I started noticing how fast I was and that I can do this on a college level. And then when I graduated from college, I... Let's talk about your college first of okay. all. So, so you finished at Bethel. Did you have a good coach there? Was that a supportive environment for you? Yes. Uh, coach Eddie Williams was the best. He's like a father figure to me, and he definitely kept me out of trouble. I ran him kind of crazy, but <laughs> 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 yes, um, he definitely kept me on track. So, And um, when I got to college, I had a great coach as well, Maurice, P Maurice Pierce, and he's still my current coach now. So. Now, were you recruited? Did, did Hampton come knocking at your door? How did, that, how did you end up at Hampton University? They did come knocking at my door, and I went on a, a couple other college visits as well, but Hampton just gives me the hometown support, and I really didn't want to leave to go away to school because I love Hampton so much, so I decided to stay right here and go to college at home. And now, you know, where you are, you could train anywhere. You're a professional. You could be anywhere you want, but you have stayed in Hampton. Yes. Um, why is that? I just love Hampton, and all of my family and friends are here, and I just have a big support system in Hampton, and I love you guys, so <laughs> I'm never going to leave. Good, because we love you, too. It's exciting, <laughs> you know, to have someone of your stature here and to bring that attention and that, that light to the city. Definitely, definitely. And I think um, last time I saw you, it was in city council, and they gave you um, a special citizen medal. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's kind of the equivalent to the, the key to the city. I mean, yes. You know, where do you go now? Where do you, after you've already gotten all that, <laughs> um, do you become a regular person? Um, I try to be. I try to be at times, but sometimes my family and friends, <laughs> they don't let me be a regular person. But, no, it's really a blessing to be able to um, not only be from this area, but to still stick around the area because... It's definitely an inspiration for other children as well, you know, for them to reach their goals. So. And you've been involved in that. And I know Hampton has had some issues kind of everywhere in the country has issues right now with youth who are who are feeling kind of stuck, who maybe give up, who who don't try, don't find their passion or get into trouble at an early age. Definitely. And it's just a blessing to be able to be an example in not an example that, you know, kids just see on TV, but they can see me real live here in person. So that can give them motivation that if I can be from this same area and reach my goals, they can do so as well. So you talk to kids at Boys and Girls Clubs, right? Yes. And how do they, re I mean, really, it, very, very few kids are going to become professional athletes. Yes. I mean, the, it's, a, it's a very exclusive club that very few are good enough for. But 
but sports really is one of those things that can keep kids in school and keep kids motivated. So how do you, how do you talk to them about that? I definitely um, try to push the point um, to not only more so just be an athlete because education is important as well. So I try to instill it hand in hand so I won't just focus on telling the kids to be a professional athlete because education of course comes first and that's what my mom always instilled in me first. So I try to not only push doing sports but also making education a number one priority. And it is important, too, because most athletes kind of have to go to college before they can become pros. I mean, there's, there's places where you can skip that step along the way, but, but pretty much you have to have at decent enough grades to, to go on. Definitely, definitely. Did you ever want to give up, Francina, or were you just like always, you know, sailing through life? No, no. <laughs> and if my mom was here, she would tell you guys. They, <laughs> I kind of, in the beginning, I really fought them tooth and nail because... It, track, like any sport, can be hard, and at times um, I didn't want to be as dedicated, especially especially in high school. I wanted to hang out with my friends. Oh gosh, yeah, Instead high of school. go to track practice, and you know I missed um, ring dances and things like that from being at the state track meet. So I definitely wanted to give up at times, but my parents they saw something in me, and they definitely didn't let me give up. And I'm definitely thankful because I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now. That's what well, you might. You might have achieved in some other area. But it did help keep you um, from going too far astray, I guess. Definitely, definitely. And you have a uh, family who still lives here, a brother and sister? Too? Yes, all of my brothers and sisters live here. Uh, it's seven of us. I have seven brothers and sisters, and my mom lives here as well. So they're probably watching. Hey, guys. That is a very <laughs> tight family. Has that been really good for you? Definitely. And they're definitely supportive and they're my motivation, you know. Even though they can't travel with me to different countries, they call me all the time and they keep up with all of my races. So that definitely helps when I'm far away from home. Do they ever get to go and cheer you on? Did anybody make it to the Olympics to watch you, for yes, example? Yes, my mom and my grandma and my godmother, they came to the Olympics and they had a blast. So. That's wonderful. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. Um, well, what will you do? I mean, obviously, you can keep running for a while. You're still uh, among the top two in the world. Um, you've got a future ahead of you. But long term, maybe, um, you know, your knees won't be able to take it or you'll want to settle down. What Do you have another plan um, in mind? Yes, I actually want to be a mortician. All right, that might shock some people. That's, it's not the biggest career field in the world, and it's one that people have some discomfort with. Definitely, but I think it's a great way to give back to the community, and it's great job security, and I won't have any complaining customers. So, It's so important to be able to deal with people when they're grieving. I mean, it is. It, there's this huge... It's just you're lost, you know, when you're when you're going through that, you don't know what you need or you need someone who can really relate. Definitely, definitely. And when I was at uh, Hampton University, I got my degree in psychology. So I think it all tie in and work in together. So. That definitely will tie in. <laughs> OK, well, will you stay in Hampton? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. But for now. I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so what's up immediately next for you? Are you in a period where you're not training right now, but you'll take a little break and then go back, or do you just train all the time? Well, right now, it's off season, so I'm not training right now. Yay! So I can give my legs a little rest, so, and I can kind of splurge on eating unhealthy food. Only for a small period of time, though. So um, at the end of October, I'll um, start training again for oh. the 2014 season. So Wow, that's really not much time. When you're in training, how, what, what is a typical day for you? A typical day for me is, um, okay, we'll start at about 9 in the morning, and I'll go to the weight room, and we'll work on various parts of the body, so it'll either be a leg day or arm day. And then we stay in there for about two hours, and then we go outside afterwards and do the sprint aspect of the workout. So. So, be over. Uh, so just the morning, like nine to noon, or how how long do you work out each day? About from nine to noon. So not very long. No, that's not as bad as some I've heard. And how much do you? When you're in training, do you eat a lot more? Um. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> you have to. I, I, I do. Think. Yes, because I'm of course you know working much harder. So, um, I do eat a lot more. I try to eat a lot. 
of healthy foods versus things that I'm not supposed to eat. So that's and that a, can be a challenge sometimes that's for me. That's a good example for all of us then. Yeah. Yes, is. yes. So, but um, of course my food intake has to be more. So, which is okay, you know, but oh, yeah, you want to make burning sure. It. You, right. Mm -hmm. You, you want to make sure you get all your proteins and things like that in. So. Well, that's wonderful. Francine, is there anything you want to talk about that I've forgotten to ask you? I just want to um, shine a light on all of the support that Hampton gives me, you know, when I'm away running and um, Hampton has always been great with supporting me ever since I was in high school. So I just want to thank you guys because it really means a lot. You know, seeing the Facebook posts and the Twitter messages, it really means a lot. Good. And the billboards. Did you see the billboards? When yes. We put up the billboards? And everybody sent me pictures of them when I was away. I was so excited. Well, we want to thank you too because you are shining a really positive light on Hampton and you're a wonderful uh, spokesperson for, oh, for the city. And um, we are so proud of you and thank proud you. that you come back here and that you're giving back to the community. I think that's really wonderful too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming by to visit today. Really appreciate it. No problem. And thank you for watching. I hope you will stay tuned to all the things Francine is going to do in the future and um, maybe we'll be able to have her back. Thank you.